For this craft, you will need shaving cream, acrylic craft paint, white glue, Mod Podge, and empty squirt bottles. We've gotten a lot of requests to make puffy paint, so today we're gonna try out a few different kinds. In the first bottle, we're gonna add shaving cream, and then acrylic paint. So just squirt the shaving cream in there, push it down in there, add the acrylic craft paint, and then mix it together. You can shake it or you can use the end of a paintbrush to mix it together properly. And then add some glue in there also. Shake it all together and then we're gonna label this bottle one so we can see how the different types of DIY puffy paints turn out and how they compare to each other. Now for the second bottle, you wanna fill it with Mod Podge which is just another type of glue. So add Mod Podge in the bottle and then you can add your acrylic craft paint. So those are the only two things in bottle number two. Mix it well, shake it up. Now when you make your puffy paint, you can make different colors for your project, but we're using the same color for each type so we can give a good comparison between the bottles. Now bottle number three is going to be a white school glue, so fill it up with glue and then the acrylic paint. You can also just wait until your school glue is halfway used and then add paint inside the school glue and mix it up so you don't have to put it in another container. Mix it well and then this is going to be our DIY puffy paint number three, so we're going to label that. Now we're gonna squirt all three bottles onto parchment paper and we're gonna label them. So we'll do number one, a heart, and then we'll just fill in a little rectangle. And number one is the shaving cream, the paint, and the glue all mixed together. So that's bottle number one. Bottle number two, again a heart, number two, and a little rectangle filled in. Number two is the Mod Podge and the paint mixed together. And then number three. Number three is just the white school glue and the paint mixed together. And then just for fun, we're gonna add a line of plain acrylic paint at the bottom and a line of puffy paint. Now let your puffy paint dry for at least 24 hours before you touch it or move it. Here's our puffy paint completely dry. We let it dry overnight and now we're gonna peel it up and compare it. So the first bottle that we used with the shaving cream, as you can see it has a lot of bubbles in it. So it's very bubbly and it's kind of brittle. It doesn't bend very well without cracking or breaking. You can still roll it up and it is flexible, but it does crack when you do it. Now number two was the Mod Podge and the paint. As you can see, it has a very glossy finish. It's very flexible. It doesn't break or crack. There are no bubbles in it. And you can roll it up and unroll it. And then number three is the school glue and the paint. A couple of bubbles in here. It's not as shiny as number two, but it doesn't crack when we bend it like number one does. And then here's just the acrylic paint. It's not glossy, it's kind of a flat finish, but it's very bendable. See, it can roll up without cracking or breaking, so that's pretty cool. And then here is the puffy paint. Very shiny when it dries, and it's very flexible. You can actually stretch it out and it'll go right back into place. Leave us a comment with your favorite type of DIY puffy paint.